Hey everybody, it's Mickey, and in today's video, I am sharing with you my 2020 spring home tour. So if you are new here, I hope you'll take a minute to subscribe. I put out new videos every week about all things home. Decorating for spring is always so much fun. I think it's the anticipation of the nicer weather, the beautiful cherry blossoms, and flowers everywhere. And right now, we are spending so much more time in our homes. I think it's important to celebrate the season and create a happy space. Today, we will start in the kitchen and make a big loop around to see all of the spring and Easter decor that I have added throughout our first floor. Here on my island, there is this trio of Strawberry Street Bunnies that I found this year at Home Goods. I was able to pick up quite a few of these and you'll see how I have used them throughout my decorating. I have the kitchen table all set in sort of a bunny theme. The table runner and napkins I found at the Target dollar spot and I have used some of my Easter plates that I've collected over the years from William and Sonoma. The centerpiece is a metal tear tray that I got years ago at Walmart. It is one of my favorites because of all the trays that I have, this one is the only one that is square, which makes it so much easier to decorate. So I've put some Ray Dunn pieces in there. I have some bunnies from the Target dollar spot. The carrots and pink sparkly eggs are from the Dollar Tree, along with a couple Easter signs that I found at Michael's. On the little side table here in the kitchen, I have a couple bunnies from Strawberry Street and Ray Dunn next to a metal round tiered tray that I found on Amazon. I have shared this tray in a previous video and I will put a link to that up above. Now here I have just added some small bird nests and moss covered bunnies from Michaels along with several smaller Ray Dunn pieces. For filler in trays and arrangement, I often use that shredded craft paper that you can find in the party section at the Dollar Tree. We will finish up with the kitchen at the end of the tour, but next up is our family room which is right off of the kitchen and my favorite chalk painted china cabinet. I have used several Bordalo Pinero green cabbage plates, which honestly are there all year long, but I really do love the way that they look with all of the spring decorations. In the middle there, I have three Ray Dunn Easter canisters, and I have replaced the lids of the two smaller canisters with the Strawberry Street bunny lids. They were a perfect fit, and honestly, I think I even like them better than the Ray Dunn bunny lids. I have a lamb's ear garland from Hobby Lobby, and a set of carrots that I think I found at Home Goods. The table behind my sofa is that bunny weather vane that I have out all year long. It is truly one of my favorite decor pieces ever. I did change up the arrangement on my coffee table just a bit by adding a sweet springtime arrangement with some greens and baby breath. I added a bird's nest to my lantern and there are a few of those Dollar Tree carrots out front. I also updated one of my vintage typewriters as well by adding a bird's nest that I found last year at Pier 1 and I also added a large fluffy buffalo check bow. We are heading out to the front hall now which is the first spot you see when you come through the front door. This area is always decorated so I only had to add a few decor pieces to get it ready for spring. I always have a large wreath of some sort hanging on my chalk painted cabinet and this one is very neutral so all I had to do was add another one of those bird nests that I found at Pier 1 last year to change the whole look for spring. On the hall skirted table is another one of those tiered trays that I have had decorated since February, all in a sort of love theme. I really like it so much that I think I'm just going to keep it throughout the spring season as well. So all I did was add one of those cute little moss covered bunnies that I found this year at Michael's. 
On the chalk painted preschool chair that I have here in the hallway, I added this adorable bunny pillow that I found last year at Pier 1 and this Boyd's Bear that is all dressed up in a bunny costume for Easter. I thought I would give you a little peek into my powder room here off of the hall because I thought it was looking pretty cute. I put together this little arrangement of the bunny in the metal frame house that came in my deco crated box that I'll leave a link to for you guys down below. And I also made this adorable metal tire swing wreath by just adding another one of those little bird nests here on the window frame above the sink. Heading now into the more formal side of the house, I have decorated one of my other vintage typewriters here in the living room with some lamb's ear, a big checked bow, and a tiny little nest. In front of the stamp books that have my kid's name on them, I have another one of those moss-covered bunnies. Over on the other side of the room on my grandmother's 1910 sewing machine, I have the Ray Dunn Hop Quilted Tea Set. You know, I am strictly a long letter Dunn collector, but when I saw this set, I just couldn't help myself. It was so adorable that I just had to collect all the pieces for Easter. Over in the dining room, I have my table all set up for Easter Sunday dinner. I am really not sure at this point if there will be anyone sitting there but us, but I have it already just the same. As a centerpiece, I have a big ivory oval platter set up with a bunny, a Ray Dunn home cookie jar, and my absolute favorite picture of my brother and I with my mom when we were really, really small, all dressed up for Easter Sunday Mass. For each place setting every year, I use the same pink egg appetizer plates and pink and gray bunny napkins that I found at the Target Dollar Spot several years ago. In the back, I have my corner cabinet all decorated with Ray Dunn that I shared in a previous video that I will leave a link to up above. I will also be posting a video towards the end of next week of the much requested Ray Dunn collection, but for now, this is just some of my favorites that I have gathered here. On my white vintage door here on the dining room wall, I have a bunch of black and white family pictures that I have hung with just a little clothespin and some twine. This large wreath I made, I think about a year or so ago from a metal tire that I found on Amazon. To round out our tour, we are back in the kitchen and I have a few canisters here on my countertop. The middle one there, as you can see, I replaced the lid with one of those Strawberry Street bunny lids. Over on the stovetop, I have a honey bunny mug and a happy Easter plate. Above that, hung on the wall, is a sweet little wreath that I made for spring. And in my utensil canister, there are a few cute little bunnies sticking out among the spoons. So that will do it for my 2020 spring home tour. Thank you all so much for watching today. Now I have heard from a few of you that YouTube had unsubscribed you from my channel. So I would really appreciate it if you could double check your subscription, make sure that you are subscribed and hit that bell notification so that you will be one of the first to know when a new video is uploaded. Don't forget to join our community over on Facebook and let me know how you are spending your time at home. So until I see you in that next video, I hope that you love the life that you have. Be kind to each other, stay healthy, and I will see you again soon. Bye.